Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Duran, Medical Director at Pathways Fertility in Atlanta. And I want to talk a little bit about gender selection IVF. So um, we at Pathways do perform gender selection IVF. And basically, the important thing to understand is that when you do IVF with genetic testing, gender information is part of the report. And there are some genetic abnormalities like Turner syndrome, which is a genetic abnormality that's associated with the uh, sex hormone the sex hormones so we know whether it's a boy or a girl and I do see quite a few couples every month here where they have no infertility at all um, but they may have you know three sons at home and they want a daughter or they may have three daughters and they want a son and they don't want to keep having children uh, hoping to have that child from the uh, other gender and uh, IVF with uh, in vitro with uh, genetic testing uh, for abnormalities also gives us the gender information. So you find out whether your embryo is genetically normal or not, and whether it's a boy or a girl. And so we're able to use that information to help couples uh, complete their family and uh, do so in the most efficient manner. And so yes, we do see patients without any infertility issues that do have specific gender requests. At the same time, in patients that have fertility issues, um, the gender information is part of the report. So if you do have genetically normal embryos that you may have a boy and a girl, uh, you may choose their birth order by selecting which one you wish to transfer first. So that's something that we do offer to all of our patients. Uh, an important concept as well to understand is that we have a lot of patients that only want to know that their baby is going to be genetically normal. So they undergo the in vitro fertilization process with the genetic screening and they essentially say we don't want to know the gender. You know we may change our mind in the future and find out by ultrasound uh, during the pregnancy but there are some patients that really want the lab to decide which embryo to transfer based on quality and do not wish to know what gender uh, the baby is. Sometimes they've had me place the gender in a sealed envelope where they may open that in the future. Uh, but uh, just because we do know the gender information doesn't mean that uh, it's something that you need to be aware of. We can just tell you that you have a completely normal embryo.